He was very beloved, uh, especially by the children. He was just very friendly, uh, outgoing personality. The man behind the restaurant marquee, Joe Fortes, moved to Vancouver in the late 1800s. His first job was at the old Hastings sawmill. Lisa Smith, a Vancouver author who co-wrote a book about his life, says Fortes was well known in the city. For being the lifeguard of English Bay Beach, and also for teaching children and adults how to swim. Three generations of Vancouverites how to swim. He started as a volunteer, but was so popular. In 1900, he was hired as the city's first official lifeguard. Okay. And that was at the will of the people, that the people actually petitioned for him to receive a salary for the work that he did. Fortes received a certificate of appreciation from the city in 1910 for his work. Smith says the mayor also gifted him a cottage on Bidwell Street. In the late 1800s and early 1900s, Fortes saved 26 Vancouverites' lives as a lifeguard, and he contributed to this beach, becoming a safe and popular swimming spot. Joe taught the Rody granddaughters Gwen and Kay how to swim. Fortes' love for swimming inspired many Vancouverites. Gwen and Kay were, were both avid swimmers once they learned to swim, uh, thanks to Joe, and uh, both of them joined the Royal Life Saving Society. Uh, and then Kay became BC's first female lifeguard in 1934 at the young age of 22. She even received awards for saving lives. Skills. When Fortes died in 1922, the city erected a monument fountain to honor him. People, you know, going to the beach for the summer would have encountered Joe, and, and he was there, uh, you know, throughout the year, sort of patrolling as well. And where he came from, from the West Indies, he was very familiar with swimming and was able to pass that on. So people um, really gravitated to his personality. In Vancouver, Angela Bauer, City News.